Hi, everybody. It's us, the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And welcome to One Sip at a Time. We're three hours north of Toronto in Collingwood. We're at the Georgian Bay Club. But today's celebrities are all about Wayne Gretzky and the tournament that's going on here today. And we are thrilled, actually, to be a part of this wonderful event. It's a Pro-Am style tournament, a nationwide tournament. And there's going to be 160 professionals, amateurs, and celebrities all here raising funds for the Wayne Gretzky Foundation. And I might add, with one of the biggest purses, mm -hmm. which is $800,099. <laughs> I thought there'd be a 99 in there somewhere. <laughs> well, there's only one real 99, of course, the great one. But the great one actually is taking on a new role as the great one with his new wines. Uh, 2004, I believe, they were first launched, the number 99 Wayne Gretzky Estate Winery. Welcome to the Wine Ladies One Sip at a Time. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure. Great yeah. to see you guys. Yeah. So this is this is an awesome tournament. This is the Ford Wayne Gretzky Golf Classic now in its third year. Is that right? This is our third year. Uh, Wayne has uh, is really the sponsor of this for his foundation. So Eddie, tell us a little bit about the foundation. Uh, it started to pr uh, provide uh, lower income communities yes. with hockey equipment uh -huh. so that they could do hockey programs. Because hockey is a really expensive sport to get involved in. Yes, it is. Now a lot of the money is going to buying defibrillators yes. oh, for, again, low income rinks, mm -hmm. community rinks, or just rinks that can't afford them, you know, okay. where it's, they might be city owned or whatever. But uh, uh, we've already been uh, instrumental in saving one individual's life. That's awesome. So uh, with a defibrillator that was uh, provided by uh, the Gretzky Foundation, 99 Foundation. And the wine sales contribute to the foundation as well. So like uh, I think last year the winery was able to give $50,000 directly and this year we're trying to build upon that. So yeah, every single bottle pro par portion of the proceeds go to the foundation. So it's, it's a nice element to the winery. Now we understand that Wayne just won a number of awards. Could you elaborate a little bit on uh, that? We've, well, we've got four wines today. One is the uh, Founders Series Riesling. This is a bit of a sneak preview for you guys. No one actually outside of the winery has tasted this yet. Ooh, I That's, feel uh, Yeah. <laughs> so the Estate Series Gewurz Demeanor. And then the two recent award winners are the Estate Series Cab Merlot mm -hmm. and Shiraz Cabernet. They both won gold at the Ontario Wine Awards, so they scored the highest out of all the wines in their category, and that's about 400 and... Uh, 449 wines entered. Hey, I have a question for Rob Power back at the Wayne Gretzky Estate Winery. Uh, we know that 2007 was an exceptional year for wines out of Niagara. What about uh, 2007? What about 2010? What's going on with that, Rob? We are always able to make great Chardonnay and Riesling and Sauvignon Blanc in Niagara as well as Pinot Grigio. But because we're relatively a cool climate area, we need a really long, warm fall to be able to ripen red grapes. And one of the ways to uh, extend your growing season is to extend it at the start of the year. Right now, we had a very early spring in Niagara, and right now we're probably about 12 days ahead, which uh, bodes really well for red wines from 2010 vintage. You know, the Canadian wine industry is maturing a little bit now, um, and I was wondering if Rob could sort of fill us in on maybe what he thinks might be the next emerging grape variety coming out of the Niagara Peninsula. Georgia, there's a lot of varieties in Niagara that are really coming on strong in terms of interest and quality and unique um, varietal character on an international scale, but I think the real next big thing for Niagara, both nationally and internationally, is going to be Riesling. There aren't that many places around the world that can actually uh, ripen Riesling in the flavor profile that, that, it's, that people love it in, and um, Niagara is one of those few places. And we had a nice chat with the general manager of the Georgian Bay Club, Steve Prest. This is the third annual Ford Wayne Gretzky Classic. What does it take to prepare a course for this big kind of event? Well, we're very lucky. We've got a large group of volunteers that help every year. And we're also very lucky with our own staff, our superintendent, Bert McFadden, on the golf course, uh, who looks after us at Georgian Bay, and our superintendent, Chris LeCour, at the Raven at uh, Laura Bay. Mm -hmm. they're, they're fabulous. They're dedicated. They're out here with their crews. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So we're, we're very lucky. Now, is there anything special? special that's done because you got all kinds of celebrities that are here. Is there champagne flowing or what's going on? We As the wine know. ladies, yeah, we need to know what's going on. 
on here? Well, there are, there are a few parties that uh, that are maybe a little less than public, and uh, there's one here tonight at the Georgian Bay Club where it's the traditional pairings party where all the uh, where all the golf professionals get to meet their amateur and celebrity partners. So we have oh, that oh, happening, fun. and we're thrilled to have you here with us this evening. Hard and uh, <laughs> there's a few other events that hap that do happen for the weekend. So hopefully you can stay with us for a few days. Oh, I hope so. Now I expect we will be tasting some Wayne Gretzky wines, of course. Absolutely tonight. Absolutely. We just wanted to welcome everyone here. Thanks for participating. This is our third year of having the event, and uh, we want to thank the Fairmont for uh, throwing this party tonight. It was uh, tremendous of them. And uh, of course, without Ford and Samsung, this event wouldn't happen. So uh, we've been really fortunate that uh, uh, we've got tremendous corporate backing, and on top of that, we've got tremendous uh, local uh, volunteer help. I think we have something like 700 volunteers. So thank you to the community for helping us out tremendously. So Charles Barkley, otherwise known as Sir Charles, is that right? <laughs> that is correct. That is very correct. Great to have you join us here today. How was your round today? Well, I didn't play today. I'm, uh, I just got in, but I look forward to coming up here every year for this tournament. It's a lot of fun. You know, Wayne is a really good friend. He's one of the few people I'll embarrass myself on the golf course with. <laughs> Right. So is that what we have to look forward to tomorrow if we stay? We're going we're gonna to track Charles Barkley? <laughs> well, uh, it, it's better safer to stay behind me. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I, you know what? I love the game. It's going to be beautiful. I love Collingswood. Uh, Georgian Bay is a beautiful place, and I'm really looking forward to the, to the next few days. Now, have you tried some of Wayne's wines before? I have. You know, I'm on the, on the, on the Gretzky guest list. Oh. You know, okay. uh, we spend a lot of time together in Arizona, and he takes good care of me. Excellent. And you prefer red wine or white wine? What's your Red preference? wine. Uh -huh. uh, good for the heart? Uh, good for the soul? I, I don't know about all that. It just tastes good to me. <laughs> An old friend of ours has just dropped by to say hello to the wine ladies here. Jim Tree living from Dragon's Den fame and Boston Pizza. And right. I'm telling you, it's so good to see you again. The last it's time nice I saw you. nice to be here. You know, this is what a fantastic day and a setting you got. You guys pick the best settings to go to. I ain't going to follow you around. That's what I <laughs> Boy, the wine ladies go everywhere. You know, they, and look at the scenery tonight. This is unbelievable. Well, it's a tough job, but somebody has to do it, Jim, right? I'm glad you guys took this out. Yeah, right. Really, yeah. <laughs> now, how are you enjoying Wayne's wine here this evening? I love it. I've actually got it in my cellar in Vancouver and in my place. That I love the wine. And he gave me a couple of bottles when he was coaching down in uh, Phoenix. And of course, the day is the week is going to be all for a great cause too. Fantastic cause, and I think Wayne has done a great job of uh, putting this together. He's got some great celebrities here. I don't think with it, with it, without him, they wouldn't have the celebrities they got here for this tournament. And he draws, he does really well. And there's a lot of people here that really home here. You know, they're home in the off season from hockey or, or basketball or wherever. There's a lot of people coming here. You could here. be a basketball player. We just talked um, to Charles Barkley, and you guys are about the same height. <laughs> yeah, but that's where it ends. <laughs> Anytime there's a big crowd like this, and all the noise and everybody around, and then surrounded with, by two beautiful ladies, <laughs> I'm automatically having fun. You know what my handicap was? What? The three guys I golf with. <laughs> But we did have a good time. We had a wonderful time. It's such a wonderful course, too. It's marvelous. It's beautiful, eh? yes. So Brett Hull needs no introduction. I mean, my goodness. Brett, this has been an amazing day here today. It really uh, has. Tell us, did you get out there today to do a little bit of a practice round? I did. We had a uh, real fun outing with uh, the Ford people at uh, Laura Bay, the Raven, and uh, came back, uh, had a couple of great glasses of uh, Gretzky Estate wine, and uh, we're here having at the at the pairings party, having a great time. And tell me, is there, being a fantastic hockey player, is there any sort of tra easy transference from hockey to golf? Yeah, well, it's pretty. It's almost the exact same uh, motion, except for you. You kind of turn around yourself a little bit more in golf. Yeah. And you can't have a temper like you do in hockey. Oh <laughs> yes, yes, that temper has gotten you in trouble a few yes, times. I understand. Yeah. No throwing of the golf sticks in the air. <laughs> And of course, we'd like to thank our sponsors today to make us green carpet ready, <laughs> Snow of Sweden Jewelry, and Silkborg Fashions of Oakville and Niagara-on-the-Lake.
<laughs> well, you've been watching the wine ladies. Wine ladies. You've been watching the wine ladies here, Jungle Gym at the Wayne Gretzky Classic Golf Classic. Yeah, the, it's going to be a fantastic. The third annual. Third Wayne, annual. Ford Wayne Ford, Gretzky Ford, Golf Ford. Classic. There you go. Samsung. I just Present, saying that on the Presented by Samsung. Presented by yeah. Samsung. Damn, it's hot in here. I think we so got all day. It's so hot in here right now. Bye, everybody. Swing. <laughs>